Alright, so here we are. We got HPIA. It's gonna start running here. So we're gonna run step. And now step. Alright, so it's installing HPIA. It's pulling it down from HP's cloud servers, their web servers. It's extracted and installed it. So next we're gonna do run the next step where we're gonna actually run HPIA. And it is running. And now this will probably run for a while. And let's see here. We're going to go to the temp. Oops. Spelled that wrong. Temp. Alright, so we have HP Image Assistant log. Alright, so you can see it is doing some stuff while it's running. So it ran our command line. So it's got the logs, it's just dumping the logs in temp, it's dumping the report in temp, and it's running debug so that there's extra logs, which is how we get these. Alright, and now this will probably run for a while. You can see it's continues to download several files. It's grabbing uh, the CVA files, which is the information, uh, the HTML file, which is like a README, and the EXE, which is the installer itself. Let's see if we can find out some more information. Let's go over the logs again. Mini, which is what this is. Okay, so that's HPA that I downloaded and installed. Doing an install. Alright, we'll just uh, close that out. See what's going on over here. It looks like it has completed downloading everything. And we've already installed a couple items Intel Management, Intel Rapid Storage, uh, our Ethernet drivers. Intel. The chipset. I 
you got to be getting closer to the end. I would think. Yeah, download a few things. Hmm. Step is still running. Oh, it's doing the audio drivers. Just take up to 15 minutes, which hopefully won't. This is the, the method where we're just letting HPIA scan the device, look for anything that it can update and pull directly from Microsoft, or from HP. Uh, we are not uh, limiting versions here. It's just going to go out and grab the latest available. Uh, in, uh, in one of the next demos, I will show how we can have it set to where you can control uh, via a reference file what HPA gathers and pulls down. And then we'll also in future sessions talk about running it all offline. So if you want to have your own repositories so you're not going out to the cloud and pulling down but you want to manage it through uh, either file servers or through uh, config manager packages you can do that as well. So with HPA there is complete flexibility to uh, work in any scenario that you'd have. Uh, so this is still running here. Um, hopefully it won't take much longer and if you're watching this, uh, thank you. Uh, feel free to uh, skip ahead just so you can see that it finishes properly uh, and then I will stop recording. Uh, this here is in the middle of my cast sequence. It's uh, So of course we're in the full OS at this point. Um, I already have set up BitLocker. Um, my task sequence is mostly done. I have some tweaks and things that run. Uh, we laid down the image earlier and uh, installed our driver packs and everything like that. Um, so now at this point we're in the full OS and we're just running the extra driver updates. So. In the beginning, uh, I did apply the driver pack for the ProDes 400 G5 uh, just to make sure that it had all the drivers it needed. And now, uh, using HPAA, we're updating everything to the latest, uh, which would be updating anything that was insecure for any patches that they put out or just improving stability or updating new features or if for some reason uh, something was missed in the driver pack, uh, this will detect that and install it as well. So it's a great tool for uh, managing your HP updates. Okay, so now it did do the audio and now it's on the video, which is usually the largest one. 44574. Four, Oh, yeah, you can tell it's video. <laughs> it just flickered a little bit. All right. <clears throat> a lot of times I like to just do a scan the first time. So the command line would, instead of be install, it would be list, and that will then create uh, an XML file and a JSON file of what it's actually going to do if it runs in install mode. Um, so for automation, that's really nice because you can have it create a list of what it's going to do, and you can inventory that, so you would know like what machines are missing, what drivers, and um, then you can plan your rollouts accordingly. Um, I just like to have it like in these cases so like I can watch it go along and be like, oh, yep, it's got eight drivers to install uh, and we're on number six. I don't think in this log it tells me 
that. No, it does not. Uh, oh, and it finished that, and it's done a couple more. It's doing the hotkey setup. So we should be almost done now. HP notifications. All right. So the notifications is like if you have a um, a laptop, you plug in the wrong power cord, it will let you know like, hey, this is not the right power cord, and you won't have the right experience. Um, things like that. It's Thirty ten, which goes back to application enablement. Alright, so at this point, I can close this log. It says that that is completed, complete with 3010. And I'm just going to let this finish running. And I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to wish you all a wonderful day.